Lesson 101. How is your family? How many people are there in your family? There are five people in my family, my father, mother, brother, sister, and me. Does your family live in a house or an apartment? We live in a house in the countryside. What does your father do? My father is an engineer. He works at an electronic toy company. How old is your mother? She is 45 years old, two years younger than my father. Can you tell you something about siblings? Yes, I do. I have one elder brother, David, and one younger sister, Mary. Are you the oldest amongst your brothers and sisters? No, I'm not. I'm the second child in my family. What does your mother and father like? My father likes playing basketball and my mother likes cooking. And my father likes NBA very much. Do your parents let you stay out late? Of course not. They always ask me to get home before 10 p.m. each night. Do you stay with your parents? Right now, no, but I used to. Does your family usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. My mom always prepares delicious meals for us. I enjoy it so much. Lesson 102. What restaurant do you usually visit? How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. What restaurant do you usually visit? Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli and convenience stores like the Circle K, Mini Stop, Be Smart. What type of food do you enjoy to eat? Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food, Western food is not my thing. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? It's not very expensive, just around $5 for each meal. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are the servers there friendly to you? Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once, when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I am. I'm on diet now, so this really matters to me. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, not often. Just when I have parties with my friends. Lesson 103. What's your favorite type of book? How often do you read books? I read books almost every night before I go to bed. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading about different cultures. What can you learn from books? Books can broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Where do you read books? I read books at home, sometimes in the library. What's the most interesting book you have ever read? I think that would be Nepal, a book written about the country of Nepal, published in 1999. How long does it take you to finish a book? Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300-page book. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do. When I'm at the airport or bus station, I read books to kill time. Is there any bookstore or library in your area? Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. Lesson 104. What's your favorite tourist attraction? How many places have you traveled to? I visited all the provinces throughout my country. Who do you usually go with? I often go with my family, sometimes with my best friends. What's your favorite tourist attraction? That would be Venice City in Italy. I love riding the gondola along the canals while watching Italian people live their daily lives. Have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. What language do you use when traveling? English, 
but sometimes I have to use body language since not all people are good at English. What do you usually do during your trip? I often go sightseeing, take pictures, mingle with the local people, and sample the local cuisine. What do you do to prepare for your trip? Before the trip, I search for information about the location, weather, famous tourist attractions, transportation, local cuisine, and prices on the internet. What do you usually bring when you travel? I usually pack my suitcase with some necessary items such as clothes, medicine, food, a map, and a camera. Do you prefer traveling by car, train, or plane? I prefer planes, although it can be a little expensive. Planes are much faster than any other mode of transport. Do you prefer traveling alone or joining a guided tour? I love backpacking with my friends who share the same interests as me. Lesson 105 What's your favorite website? What type of websites do you often search for? It varies depending on my goal. I prefer entertainment and education websites such as Facebook.com, Wikipedia.org, and VOA Special English. How long have you been using them? I have been using these websites since I was a freshman at university. What do you visit those websites for? I use them to study online or relax after working. What's your favorite website? I think it's probably YouTube.com. Can you read websites in English? Yes, I can. Most useful websites are written in English. What's the most popular website in your country? I'm not quite sure, but I guess it would be Facebook.com. Do you think the youth should use websites as a reliable source of knowledge? Not always. They should choose their sources carefully. Lesson 106. Traffic Accidents have you ever been in any traffic accident? Yes, three years ago. What happened? I was hit by a car while crossing the road. How did you feel then? I felt really terrible because of my injuries. Who was involved in the accident? The car driver, his family, inside the car, and me. Did the insurance company pay for repair service? I was walking so I did not require any car repair services. Did you need a lawyer? I hurt my lower back just a little, so I didn't call a lawyer. Did you report the issue to the police? No, we didn't want to get the police involved. Were you sent to the hospital after the accident? No, the injury wasn't really serious. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. Why should people obey traffic regulations? To protect themselves and others. The best ways are to wear a helmet, wait for traffic lights and stay in the appropriate vehicle or pedestrian lanes. Lesson 107, Childhood Memory Did you have a happy childhood? Yes, I did. I enjoyed playing hide and seek with my peers. Did you experience your childhood in a city or countryside? I spent my childhood in a rural area where I could see vast rice fields. Did you usually skip class when you were a child? Yes, I did, and many of my friends did, too. Who were you with when you were a child? I was with my beloved family. What did you want to be when you were a child? I dreamed of being a fashion designer. Who did you love the most when you were a child? I loved my mom the most since she was always there and took care of me. Who was your childhood hero? Robin Hood. He took money from the rich and gave it to the poor. What reminds you of your childhood? Green rice fields, which I happen to see everywhere remind me of my beautiful childhood. Did you change a lot when you grew up? Yes, of course. I'm more mature now, both physically and mentally. Why is childhood important? Because it shapes people into who they will become. Lesson 108. Do you love your room? How many rooms are there in your house? There are six rooms, a living room, two bedrooms, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Which floor is your bedroom on? My bedroom is on the first floor of a three-story house. Is it big or small? 
It's not very spacious, just enough to put necessary furniture in. What color is your bedroom painted? It's painted pink, my favorite color. Do you love your room? Why? I love it very much because it is my private space whenever I go home. What furniture does your bedroom contain? It contains a bed, a desk, and a clothing closet. What do you do in it? Well, I spend most of my free time there reading books and sleeping. How much time do you spend in your room? About 10 hours a day, especially in the evening. Do you share your room with anyone else? No, everyone in my family has their own room, so I stay there alone. Lesson 109, Favorite Presents What kind of presents are popular in your country? It depends on the receivers. For children, toys are the best choice. For youth, souvenirs are recommended. Who gave presents to you? On what occasions? I have received many presents, most of which were from my friends. They gave me gifts on my birthday. What was your last present? It was a handmade doll, given by my best friend when I moved to another city. What was the one you liked best? I loved my book Nepal a lot. It was given to me on my 23rd birthday by my brother. Did you ever get a present you didn't like? Yes, I have, but I still treasure and take care of them. How do you thank people who give you presents? I gave them presents that they would like. What are the times of the year that people give presents in your country? Some special occasions are birthdays, weddings, graduation, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, housewarming ceremonies, etc. Who was the last person you gave a present to? My mom. I bought her a coat on a business trip to Bangkok. Is giving presents important in daily life? Yes, it is. It's one of the best ways to show your love and gratitude to someone. Lesson 110, Historical Places Which tourist attractions do you prefer when traveling? Historical places or natural landmarks? Well, historical places are always my first choice when traveling. What do you usually do when visiting historical places? I usually listen to the tour guide introducing the sites and take notes about important historical events. Can you name some historical places you have visited? Whenever I travel to a foreign country, I always visit its famous historical places. Some of them are the pyramids in Egypt, Angkor Wat in Cambodia, Stonehenge in England, and the Taj Mahal in India. What's your most favorite historical place? Why? I love the pyramids the most. Taking a tour around the pyramids, I can not only enjoy the gorgeous architecture but also learn cultural and historical values of the ancient Egyptian culture. What is the most famous historical place in your country? It's definitely the Statue of Liberty in New York City. What's special about it? The statue was gifted by the people of France. It is a symbol of freedom for the U.S. as well as a welcoming site to people coming to the U.S. from another country. Where is it located? It's located on Liberty Island in New York Harbor, NYC. Should the youth visit historical places instead of other places? Sure. Nowadays the youth should visit these kind of places more often in order to preserve historical and cultural values of their country. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.